All right, so now I got all my electronics set up inside. Not too happy with my antenna placement because I have a carbon tube, I believe, back here. I guess it's fiberglass, maybe it's not a big deal, but it's close to the battery, pointing at the battery. I'm not too happy about that, but I got the front one in a good location. And then I've got the remote receiver in the back. So I've got plenty of antennas. I'll be monitoring my flight log to see what my antennas, how, how good my antennas are working. I got the batteries mounted in there. I got the switches in there. I got the ESC all wired up. And I'm about to put this panel in and get my Velcro and my foam set up for my batteries. All right, so now I'm gonna go through how I set up reverse on these Avian ESCs. Um, I only know how to do this with the Avian ESC and the Spectrum receiver. So what I'm gonna do is I got the radio powered up. I got the airplane powered up. I'm gonna power up the, the ESC. Now in a certain amount of time, there's a time limit. I'm not seeing it here. So what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if the motor is spinning the proper way. I put a piece of tape. And it is spinning clockwise, which that is the wrong direction should be spinning counterclockwise so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna power down the system and you want to swap any two of these wires from the ESC to the motor So now that I got those two wires swapped around, I'm going to plug it back in. Let it arm. And test it now. So now it's spinning counterclockwise. Alright, so now I figured out why I wasn't getting reverse. I got into the Avian program menu. You got to make sure you're on high rates. The reason I wasn't getting the Avian program menu or none of my telemetry is because I was running separate receiver batteries. And those separate receiver batteries, for whatever reason, was not sending the telemetry. So now I used the BEC out of the ESC and I was able to get into it. So now you're going to go left aileron, up elevator, you're going to follow the directions. Up elevator, right aileron. And now I'm in the flight mode. So you have to have 100% dual rates. I had dialed down my dual rates and it wasn't working. Once I put it back to 100% dual rates, it worked. So now what you're gonna do is I'm gonna go through the modes. I got flight mode, fixed wing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rotate down is how I do it. You use this one. So now I'm gonna go to brake type. I'm gonna go to the right, normal. Proportion, reverse, that's how you get your reverse. Then you go down, don't worry about brake force. Cutoff type is a surge. Lipo cells is auto calculating cutoff voltage. Me personally, I turn this off. Disabled, I disable my cutoff voltage because I rather screw up the pack than lose a plane. So I got my BC voltage is six, startup time, soft. I'm gonna come back to that one because I think I'm gonna, that's a soft start, I don't like the soft start, but we'll see how it works out for us. Timing is 15, motor, 
Not making none of these changes. Active free wheels disabled. Governor gain. Arming time. Restart the cell. Thrust reverse channel. Channel 7. I've got a cheat sheet over here. And I'm actually using for reverse channel 8. I've already set it up. So I'm going to go to channel 8. That's going to be my reverse. So now I'd like to go back up a couple. Right there to my startup time. Soft. Very soft. Normal. Soft. Very soft, normal. I like normal. That means that it doesn't ramp up in power. It's proportional to the throttle stick. So now I'm going to go down to the end. I got my thrust reverse set up. I'm going to exit and save. So now it's going to restart. Make sure I have my throttle cut on. Now I'm gonna set up the, the switch. So on channel eight, braking. that's my braking channel, braking. which is auxiliary three, channel eight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into a mix. So now we could actually test it. Motor on. So I'm in forward. The prop spinning to the left from the back view. Now when I switch it. Braking. Now it's going reverse. You see it? So I need to change a setting in here that makes this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I like to make Breaking. these two break and reverse Breaking. and then this forward. So now, you simply do that by messing with your, your servo throws. So if I go into my servo setup, you can see my throttle. It's actually going backwards. Still going backwards. And then it's going forward. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reverse auxiliary three. So I'm gonna go into travel, reverse, auxiliary three. So now I can text it again. I got forward. I got reverse, Breaking. and now this is going to be a braking gap that I set up. And I'm going to be very careful with it because my throttle cut on, I can show you. I actually want to power down the plane for this reason, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mix. So I'm going to do a new mix that I'm going to do normal, auxiliary three to throttle and I've already done this on my other plane so I know what to expect but right now what's happening is I'm gonna run the rate here all the way up and then it's still not gonna give me enough throttle so let me power down the plane real quick just so I can show you what's gonna happen we've already set up the reverse switch so what's gonna happen here is Take off my throttle cut. So there's my throttle cut. So what happens is forward, no problem. Reverse, no problem. Reverse, no problem. Now, what I'm going to do is if you watch the first throttle up here, if you can see it, I'm going to go all the way up. So now it's going the wrong direction, so I gotta go the opposite way. It's 
See, so negative 125 only gives me about 27% throttle. It's more than 27% throttle, but I want more than that. So if you dial up the offset, I'll set it about 60% here. And let's go with 25. That's the settings that I have in my in my jet, and they work great. So now if you watch it, I still have control where I could add more too, but I'm not worried about that. What happens is I'm gonna have forward, forward throttle. Then in the middle, I wanna have reverse throttle. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click switch. And toggle Breaking. my switch. Breaking. And then what you want it to do is you want this black dot down here to be lit up so for my revert. So I've got forward, which is the little tiny black dot on the bottom, forward, Revert. reverse, Breaking. Breaking. Breaking is gonna be my preset. So if you watch my throttle, throttle cut. throttle's on, forward. idle. And then up here you can see forward, reverse, braking. Braking. I got about 60% brake. We'll start there and test that. So now we're going to test it on the model. I'll power up the model. Throttle cut. And we'll go from there. So now we're going to test it. So, throttle cut off, forward. Now we're going to test reverse. Right. Now we're going to test braking. That's some serious power in there, so that's reverse. Everything works great. That's how you set up the reverse on the new Spectrum ESCs and the smart receivers.